What's going on guys, it's Marty here playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and trying to catch a shiny Pidgey. Alright guys, so I've got some gameplay here for you of me trying to catch that Pidgey. It took me about three hours last night, I almost gave up. Um, and let's see what happened. So I'm heading up towards the Viridian Forest, I'm going to try and catch, uh, hunt for this shiny Pidgey in the grass just outside the forest. So for those of you that don't know, you have to, uh, in Let's Go Eevee, if you catch more than 31 of the same Pokemon in a row, uh, so chain catch them, and you'll see the chain come up after you catch them, then you've got a lot higher chance of catching a shiny. There are other things that um, will increase the odds, such as using a lure or having the shiny charm, but at the moment I'm just going for the chain and I'll use a lure a bit later on. Uh, so there's a few Pidgeys hanging around here. Alright, so obviously I'm not going to play the whole video of me catching all the 31 Pidgeys I require, so I'll show you this one and then we'll just skip through the rest of them as it goes. So it took me a while just catching Pidgey after Pidgey after Pidgey. So many Pidgeys. Sick of seeing Pidgeys. Do I just want a shiny Pidgey? I, I, I don't know why I was using Ultra Balls. I guess it catches them quicker. Uh, I could have used Great Balls or even just Poke Balls. And there were a lot of Pidgeys around, which was good because it means I could catch them quicker. It wasn't like I was trying to catch something rare, but there was a lot of Pidgeys. So I gave up on being on the ground because there's a lot of just crap like Rattatars and whatever else hanging around so I took to the sky. Um, and again there was a lot of Pidgeys. Uh, it's a bit harder up here though because I had to be careful not to run into some random Dragonite that just flies past me or a Charizard. Um, but it did make it a bit easier because I could fly around and see what's on the ground as well as battle the Pidgeys in the air. As you can see there, that's what happens. Uh, you gotta be careful when they escape out of the ball because if they do escape enough, they'll run away and there goes your chain and you have to start again. As you can see, the chain's coming along up to 12 now. And skip through here, now we're up to 25. So we're pushing the chain right up there. So the shine, chance of catching shiny have gone right up. We're now at 32 and we're at the peak of where we can be for the chain. So I caught so many Pidgeys. Um, I ended up going to the Viridian Forest as you can see here because I was just sick of being in one patch of grass for like over an hour. Um, so I've got a lure on at this point and you'll see that there is so many Pokemon in this forest. It's ridiculous. Um, so I just, I got sick of wandering around so I just continuously caught more Pidgeys because what else would you do? And you see there's lots of other Pokemon hanging around as well. Um, so if you run into these Pokemon, it doesn't break your chain as long as you run away. Just don't catch them or anything like that. I, I, I swear I was going crazy at this point too. There's just, there's Pidgeys everywhere. I keep catching Pidgeys. I keep thinking I'm seeing a shiny one. They're not shiny, they've just got these stupid glows around them. Uh, obviously they've got better stats and stuff, or they're bigger or whatever else, but yeah. So many Pidgeys. Still though, I pushed on. I really want this shiny, so I continued on. Caught more Pidgeys. Lots more Pidgeys. And again, look at all these Pidgeys, there's so many. So I think after this, I'm probably not gonna, I don't wanna look at a Pidgey for a long time because I'm just sick of Pidgeys, to be honest. So 
Yeah, so I've caught so many, so you're really lucky I didn't actually run the, the full gameplay of what happened because it'd be like over three hours long easily. Alright, so just when I was, I was about to give up, I'm like, nah, that's it. I'm heading back down to Viridian City. Gonna get some more items, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna get off. This is, I'm done. But then, look at this. There's a shiny Pidgey. Yes! I was so excited. I was actually just about to call it quits, go to bed, and here it is. So no messing around. I'm gonna throw an Ultra Ball at this thing. I'm gonna catch it first go. I'm, I'm not losing this Pidgey, so here we go. An excellent throw. And that's it. I, I, I got myself a shiny Pidgey. Bloody excited, but that took so long. So next time I'm gonna shiny hunt something a bit rarer. So that way it's kind of worth spending three hours sitting down on my Switch for. Uh, yeah, 61 all up I caught. Uh, yeah, but now I've got a shiny Pidgey, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you did like this video, make sure to smash the like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe for a lot more content. Um, and I do a lot of other content as well, so do check out my channel. So you see all the Pidgeys I caught, and let's have a look at the shiny one. Pretty cool with the golden colour, but I think we'll go for something that looks completely different next time in the shiny. So keep an eye on my channel for another shiny hunt. Thanks for watching, guys.